For today's video, we are talking about identifying types of angles to start our new unit. So our learning target today is I can identify types of angles. Our, please write down the date that you're watching this. Write down your I know, which is what you know about types of angles. So maybe you don't know much about angles, but maybe you do know something about angles. Maybe you know what an angle is. Um, maybe you know some names of different types of angles, and so you could write those down. Then we have vocabulary. We have a lot of vocabulary this unit, and we also have a lot today. So our first vocabulary word is acute angle. An acute angle is an angle whose measure is less than 90 degrees. So a lot of times they'll look something like this. Our angle we signify with a little curved line inside it like that, and it's a little angle. So acute, sometimes people remember that by remembering an acute angle is a cute little angle. Um, because it's a small angle, it's narrow, um, it's not very big. So that's an acute angle. Our second type of angle is right angle. A right angle is an angle whose measure is exactly 90 degrees. These are also sometimes called square angles because they're the angles in the four corners of a square or a rectangle. When we draw those, you see it makes a perfect, one line is vertical, one line is horizontal. They're perfect. And then we actually can draw a little square in the corner and that means that it is a square angle. Now it doesn't have to be vertical and horizontal. Our right angle could look like that, but the way we signify that right angle is by putting that little square in the corner. Next, we have obtuse angle. Obtuse angle is an angle whose measure is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So obtuse angles are our big angles. So over. they're bigger than 90 degrees. They kind of look like they're falling over a little bit. And then a straight angle is a angle who is exactly 180 degrees. So a straight angle is literally a straight line. But if it was an angle around, say, that spot, this angle that we can show with that line, that's a straight angle. So a straight angle exactly 180 degrees, that's how much is in a straight line. And that's really, really important in this unit, that they're exactly 180 degrees in a straight line. Next, we have complementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles whose measure sum is 90 degrees. So, for example, 45 degree angle. We had two 45 degree angles. Yes. If we were to add those together, if we were to put them on top of each other, then we would end up with 45 plus 45 being 90. And it would kind of look like this. We could kind of stack them together like this. So here's our first angle, here's our second angle. And when we combine those, we get 90 degrees. So anytime we have two angles, and it doesn't have to be 45, it could be 10 and 80, it could be 30 and 60. It can be any two angles that add up to 90 degrees. And then our next one is supplementary angle. Supplementary angles are two angles whose measure sum, that means add it up, is 180 degrees. So in this case, we would need two angles that add up to 180. So this could be something like two 90 degree angles. And if we have two 90 degree angles and we add those up, we would get 180 degrees. We could also draw it like this. Remember, a straight line always equals 180 degrees. That's a straight angle. So anytime we have a straight line, those two angles have to be add up to 180 degrees. So in this case, maybe we say that this one is 140 degrees and this one is 40 degrees. Well, in that case, we would have 180 degrees because 140 plus 40 is 180. So a lot of times we'll see it like the second picture here where we see a straight line. We know that a straight line is always 180. And so 
um, we know the two angles in there add up to 180. So at this time, please pause the video, make sure you have all of this written down, and then resume the video when you're ready to go. So our first topic for this unit is identifying angles. And so the basic types of angles that we know are acute, obtuse, right, and straight. So we want to be able to identify angles if they are drawn. So for example, if I were to draw this angle right here, and if I wanted to look at that, I would say, well, this is clearly a small angle. It is less than if I had a straight line there. So this would be an acute angle. If I had an angle like this, you say, okay, well, this one, he kind of looks like he's leaning back. A straight line, if I was making a straight line so that it was a square, that would be like that. So this is more than 90 degrees. That makes it an obtuse angle. For this one, here, I say, okay, here, I can draw that square in there. That means this is a right angle. And then if we just have a straight line, a straight angle. So the first thing you want to be able to do is look at a picture of any angle and be able to tell if it's acute, obtuse, right, or straight. The second thing we need to be able to do is look at the numbers themselves. So let's say I told you something like this. There's a letter M, and a little angle, and then the letter A. This is math shorthand. It means measure. That's what the M stands for, measure of. The little angle symbol, that means angle, and then the letter A is the name of the angle. So this says the measure of angle A. So anytime I see that little shorthand there, I know that that means the measure of angle A. So I put that the measure of angle A equals 90 degrees. We would know that that is... If I told you the measure of angle equals 110 degrees, you would know that that is an obtuse angle. If I told you the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees, that's a straight angle. And if I told you that the measure of angle D is 55 degrees, that's less than 90, so that would be an acute angle. So the first thing you need to be able to do is just look at numbers and look at pictures and be able to identify whether they're <coughs> right, obtuse, straight, or acute. The next thing we want to be able to do is determine if angles are complementary or supplementary. So remember that complementary means that they add up to to 90 degrees. And supplementary means they add to 180 degrees. Honestly, the easiest way to remember that is that C comes before S in the alphabet and it's the smaller one. So complementary is smaller, supplementary is bigger. Complementary is earlier, it's 90. S for supplementary is later in the alphabet, it's 180. That's my trick to remember which one is complementary and which one is supplementary. I just remember it by remembering that in alphabetical order, it's smaller to bigger. So let's say we had a picture that asked us to tell whether they were complementary, supplementary, or neither. And in this case, my picture looked like this. And it told you that this was a 32 degree angle and this was a 58 degree angle. Well, the angles aren't touching, so I can't see it right away. So to be able to tell if these are complementary, supplementary, or either, we're gonna add this. We'll do 32 plus 
58. When I add those, I get 90 degrees. 90 degrees is complementary. That means that these two angles are complementary angles. For our next one, let's say I had two angles. And I told you that this one was 98 degrees. And this one is 72 degrees. Well, if I add those up, 98 plus 72, I get 170 degrees. 170 is not 90 or 180, so that means this is neither complementary nor supplementary. And for the next one, I'm going to tell you that this is a 79 degree angle and this is a 101 degree angle. So this is going to be your question for your check for this video. I want you to, um, in Schoology, put in whether these are complementary, supplementary, or neither. And this will be your Schoology graph check for this video. Complementary, supplementary, or neither for the angle 79, 101, or neither. Okay. The last type of problem we need to be able to do is a find the angle measure. And this sort of gets at really what we're doing in um, this whole chapter. It's a lot of finding angle measures. So let's say that I told you that angle A and angle B, that's what that little angle sign, that little um, pointy guy there, that's angle, angle A and angle B, and I tell you they're supplementary. And then I tell you that the measure of angle A is 130 degrees. And if I wanted you to find the measure of angle B, well, to solve this, I would say supplementary. Supplementary means they have to add up to 180. So I know that A and B combined equals 180. Well, A is 130. I don't know what B is. So I need to know what plus 130 would be B. I'll subtract 130. I get that B equals 50. Our problem could also look like this. It could be a picture. In this case, our picture tells you that this is a 45 degree angle, and we want to know what angle X is. Well, again, sup these lines here, I see that this is a straight line. Straight line means, again, it is a supplementary angle. So for supplementary, they add up to 180. So I know X plus 45 equals 180. So if I subtract 45, I get that X equals 135 degrees. And we can do the same thing for complementary angle problems. So if I have a and I tell you that this side is 70 degrees and this is angle Y. Well, in this case, I see right away I have a square. That little square means complementary. 
anytime I see that little square in an angle, that means those are complementary, which means it is a 90 degree angle. So that tells me that y plus 70 has to equal 90. So I can subtract 70 from each side, and I get that y equals 20 degrees. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you put in the answer to the question from earlier. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great day.